Hello again. I'm finishing up a recap on a 65 Super Reverb. And some details of that will be shown in the next video. But I thought I'd take this time to talk to you about artificial intelligence as it applies at least to this channel, or potentially applies to this channel. About three months ago, I think it was, I got a notification that YouTube was doing um, auto-dubbed languages where uh, my videos get automatically translated into dubbed versions for certain languages, you know, French, Italian, Portuguese, Spanish, uh, German, uh, Indonesian, Indian, and Japanese, and among others, with others that are in experimental stages. And uh, I looked into it a little bit, and I allowed it, and I have videos up where that is an option. And I've gotten some feedback, primarily from German viewers, saying, what, what happened to your channel? Why do you have that weird AI voice speaking in German? Now, first of all, that can be changed on your end under the settings for the video. You can choose to listen to the translated version or the, or the original audio. So, yeah, you know, you can get out of it, but I don't think that people are aware that that is something which they have control over. That all of a sudden, I just sound very strange to them. And I have to say, I have gone through and listened to them, and the uh, the uh, German and it Italian, the Italian's not so bad, the German and the, uh, and the uh, Spanish speaking voices are very odd to me, to my ears. The, the French guy sounds fantastic. I have no idea if what he's telling you is any good. I have no idea how accurate the translations are. And the, um, the, the Indian version, the Hindi version, also sounds very good to my ears. But that's just in terms of what voice that they used, not in terms of uh, whether the translation is very accurate. And that's the thing I, I can't be sure of either way. I know that if it's just a matter of some people will like it, some people won't, uh, that's controllable in their settings, so I don't need to worry about that. But if it's bad, if it's since we talk about tech stuff, this is technical terms and technical concepts, I don't know how well the translations do. And as I have the vocabulary of a precocious three year old in Spanish, uh, and in Italian and French, I can read but not understand spoken very often. And I don't have a huge vocabulary. And, and in German, I'm just grabbing the, the cognates. I have no, no ability to understand German. I have no idea. So those of you who do uh, speak those languages, I assume fluently, who also have been watching my videos, so your English is also very good. If you could give me feedback as to whether, aside from the quality of the AI voice, whether the um, translations are at all useful, if they're just garbage and are full of errors and make it painful to, to listen to in terms of the, the bad translation, I will disable that feature. My thought was, if it's at all useful to anyone, it could expand the reach of the channel, not in terms of, oh, making more money from people, but just getting this information out there to those who don't speak English. Um, and maybe if we were to have this conversation again in three to five years, it'd be a moot point, the translation would be perfect. But um, I'm curious to know what your thoughts are. And I, the, I, mine cannot be the only channel where you've encountered this. Maybe other, other content creators just have it have not enabled it. I don't know. But I imagine that a large percentage of the videos on YouTube are in English, with the rest, proper, uh, biggest other chunk probably being Chinese. So if you are on YouTube from a, a different, la uh, different language than English or Chinese, you're probably used to hearing a lot of videos in English or Chinese. Maybe more so uh, if you're European in English than in Chinese. But um, 
want to know if this is at all useful. Should I continue to allow it to offer those translations? Are they any good? Or is it just aggravating and makes you want to click away as soon as possible? That's looking nice, don't you think? I'll let that silicone set up about 10 minutes. And then I will snip off the little bits of excess here, as I already have done on these. And then I will solder them once they're put back into the amp with these screws holding them down because this board flexes when the screws go down. And I don't want to uh, uh, have it stress any solder joints ahead of time. So, wipe up the excess silicone. And remember to put the cap on. And I'm going to go put this back together in a few minutes into that super reverb. So thank you for watching. Please let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on the whole AI translation thing. I thought it might be promising to try. And if they, they've already stolen all my information, they probably already had it anyway. Such is life. Thanks for watching.